All right, now we're going to take a look at the uh, Tetramorium. How interesting. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? What a nest. We've got two of them. All right, it is kind of cool, though. They're just your third to five inch test tubes. They're not five by uh, 16 millimeters. But I have a whole lot of ladies in there. So I lift it up here. I have no idea how many are in. There's a queen I see her in the back. Better get them down. They like to come out and bite and sting. Can't feel it though. I didn't put them in hibernation yet, or at all this year either. But I've heard they're not too critical. I don't know, they don't seem to be doing any worse. This one's not as, doesn't have as many. There's a queen right there. I see her black butt. Oh, yeah, there she is. The burrowing in the cotton. But yeah, that's my two biggest tetramorium colonies. And they're amazing outworlds. Uh, the only thing I use for a barrier is... Uh, right there. Extra virgin olive oil. That's all I use for all my ants. As you can see here, it's kind of glurpy. But uh, it works for Campanatus. It works for tetramorium. That is until the tetramorium start uh, sticking their dead to it. And then they use their dead uh, sisters as a br bridge to climb up. Resourceful little buggers. Alright, my tetramorium colonies are... They were... Uh, all queens that still had their wings. I caught them during a nuptial flight. Uh, let's see here. That would have been... These are 2016, so these are uh, two years old. So there's my two amazing tetramorium colonies. Aren't they great?